This is Brendan with Cusack Prep, and in this video, we're going to be discussing how you can arrange letters in words, how many different ways that you can arrange these letters. So this is a very common question, maybe in Algebra 2 or Pre-Calculus course. It also appears on the SAT and the, or sorry, not the SAT, just the ACT. So let's talk about what happens when we're arranging letters. So let's say I had a very simple word. Let's say I had a two-letter word. Maybe I had the word am. And we wanted to ask ourselves how many ways we could arrange these two letters. Well, this is pretty easy, right? We can either arrange it the way that it is, or we can arrange it as MA. And so we can see that there are two possible ways that those two words can be arranged. Let's say we had something a little bit more complicated. Let's say maybe we had a three-letter word like dog. If we were to systematically go through this and list all the ways that it could be named, I'm going to start by switching these second two letters. So we could have D, G, O. I could also put the G as my first letter and have G, D, O and G, O, D. And I could also put the O as the first letter and have O, G, D, followed by O, D, G. So it's important to see that organization that I went through. I kept the first letter the same and tried to change everything after it, and then slowly went through the list, exhausted all the combinations for D as the first letter, and then moved on to G as the first letter, and then on to O as the first letter. It's always important to be organized when solving math problems. Now this would give us six possibilities. Well, we can see how this quickly becomes very inefficient if we were to have something like four or five or six letters in a word. Fortunately, there's a wonderful equation uh, or set of equations that make this very easy to solve. So what you want to do when none of the letters repeat is just use n factorial, where n represents the number of letters in the word. So for a word like am, you can see that there are two letters. So n factorial would be two factorial, which is just two times one, and that would give us two. For a word like dog, well, dog has three letters, so we would do three factorial, which would be three times two times one, which would give us six. So we can at least verify that this works for the first two sets of letters. Now, if we had something a little bit more complicated, maybe we had something like um, a desk, right? That's a four letter word. That would just be four factorial, which is four times three times two times one which would just give us 24. But let's say we have repeats. So let's say all four letters weren't different, but some of them were the same. So this is an example that we might see with a word like book, B-O-O-K. So when we're figuring out how many ways we can arrange the letters in the word book, we do want to start off with the number of letters factorial. So I'm going to put four factorial on the top. Now, what's important is that you do see that these O's repeat. So like B-O-O-K, if I switch these two O's, I don't get a different word, it's still book. And we have to take that into account. And the way that we do that is we put the number of repeated letters in the denominator with a factorial sign. So since this O repeated twice, we put a four fact or two factorial in the denominator. So that this would be four times three times two times one over two times one, the twos cross, and we just end up with 12. Now the question that is pretty much in every textbook is asking for a really long word, and the easiest long word to ask about is Mississippi. Uh, not only is it long, but it fortunately has a lot of repeats. So M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. And with Mississippi, uh, we have to count how many letters there are. So we can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven letters. And we have to count the repeats. So I can see that I repeats itself four times. Because I repeats itself four times, I put a four factorial in the denominator. S also repeats itself four times, so I have to put four factorial in the denominator for the S. And P repeats itself twice. So I would have to put a two factorial in the denominator. 
when this fully expands out, it's going to be, you know, 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times, you know, so on and so forth until you get to 1. Over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 1. And you would simplify that and you would get a number that would tell you how many different ways the letters in the word Mississippi uh, can be arranged. So thanks for watching. Hope that clears up that very common problem. Uh, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this YouTube channel. Thanks.